Hello Aries, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing wonderful. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Aries, let's get straight into it. I want to focus on two things for this week's reading. Um, one, I want to focus on who is coming towards you. Um, if there is anyone, I do want to explore that. I want to see the energies that are coming towards you. And the, the second thing I want to focus on is all of that from now, when you see this reading until the end of the year, the end of 2022, there's not a lot to go. I'm doing this reading. It's the 7th of November. We know we've got the rest of November, December, and that's it. So I want to focus on that time frame from now until the end of the year. And of course, I want to see who's coming towards you um, and the energies that they are bringing as well. So let's see. I want to give these cards a really good shuffle. I always pre-shuffle Aries, but um, I always like to shuffle on camera. I never want to see the cards because like I say, I always like to surprise myself here as well. And this will be for the collective watching. Here we go. Also, Aries, if you do like this reading, if it resonates, if it speaks, as I say, certain volumes to you and you think well, that really sounds like my story, I do invite you to check out your optional extended reading and it is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. I've clearly labeled link to the extended reading. You can rent it, you can purchase it, download it to your phone or to your computer. You can pretty much do whatever you want with it. It is yours for life. If you've rented it, you can take screenshots, write things down. It's a really good reference to have as things unfold um, and as they reveal themselves to you from now until the end of the year as well. So for those that are new to my channel, what is the purpose of the extended reading? It is an extension of this reading and I focus 100% from your person's perspective. I focus, it's a very powerful way, I must say, Aries, to have a peek over the fence. I focus, you know, on their true thoughts, feelings, um, the desires, fears, intentions. What is it that they hope to achieve and the outcome here as well? I want to see what's also going around your person. Um, it's just a really good way to have a peek over the fence, as I just said. So here we go. For my lovely Aries, here we go. All right, let's see what's going on. So from now until the end of the year, what's unseen here? What are the thoughts? What are the feelings? What's simmering and brewing? What do we have? Ah, we have the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. I still think that uh, you're carrying this around, aren't you? Yeah, Gemini energy right there. The fact that the swords, and it's not a nice picture to look at, is it? But the fact that the swords are already lodged in and this person has kind of bled out, this has already happened, but you're still carrying this energy now, aren't you? This is about loss, endings, separation, divorce, where you highly feel cheated and betrayed, not just by the person, perhaps from the people around them, but by the situation itself, how it ended. Often this can show that someone just like this, they just ended it and you never had that clarity and what hurts most is that we don't have that closure as well because we don't have the answers um, as well. Sometimes this is known, I'm not going to sugarcoat this Aries, it is known as the worst card in the deck where we hit rock bottom mentally. We're like, really, if this is rock bottom, oh, the only way to go is up. And I have to tell you why, because we're seeing on the horizon that the sun is coming up and the sun is clearing. So where there is an ending, there is a brand new beginning. This, this is the cycle of life. It is a law of the universe. Where there is an ending, there is always a beginning. What's happening? There we go. There you are. I told you. There's a beginning. We have the fool. And that's you. That's Aries energy. This is the start of something fantastic. Yes, I see that you're mourning here. And you're sad over what happened. You're only human, Aries. You're not a robot. Emotions are very complex and they're complicated and they're yours. They're valid and they're real. Some of you may be traveling here um, as well. It could be for pleasure, a vacation, a much needed break. It could be for work as well. But this is about reclaiming the innocence of your soul, which was always innocent. You were never at fault here. It's about brand new beginnings and taking that leap of faith here as well. It's learning again to see the sun. There we go. The sun was there. This is good. This is fantastic. This is what we want to see. The energies we want to see from now until the end of the year. I think you're going to end this on a happy note. Why do I say that? Because we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant here is Taurus energy and it speaks of commitment and marriage. So some of you may have, yes, been um, 
married or committed to this person. And, I'm, and I honestly, I, I, I keep hearing someone is saying, my heart breaks every time I think about this. My heart breaks, this person broke my heart. What if I was to say to you that perhaps this person would like to come back though, but remember, and I preach this a lot, reconciliation means many different things though. It could be for an apology, it could be to be friends, to make certain amends. It could actually even be, because the Three of Cups here, Cancer Energy, comes with an enormous amount of healing. What if this person wants to commit to you again? There's been some falling out here between the both of you, and it really broke your heart. But look at you, look at the thick skin you've got. You know, you're like, it is what it is, and I'm going to keep going. But then here your person comes back to do something quite traditional here. You may have had even counseling with this person or even thought about having counseling, um, or maybe you're doing it on your own or they're doing it on their own. Either way, we have the Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. The Three of Cups, this particular three comes with an enormous amount of healing. Now this even may have been a friend or someone at work or someone that you were flirting with or you saw the potential, but how things ended, it still hurt you. That's the thing, we can't, we can't ignore how this person made you feel though. So the relationship status with this person will be very different, very personal and unique for the collective watching this. The Three of Cups does show healing of the emotional kind, of course. It does show some form of reconciliation to make amends. I want to do something right by you. You pretty much don't have to lift a finger, Aries. I just have to say that. I see your person doing all of this. Um, now, this is known as one of the most sociable cards. I feel here that you want to have more fun in life. Life has been this. It's been too serious and it's going to happen. Do not be surprised if this person does ask you out. Let's have a cup of coffee. Hey, let's watch that movie that's out. You know, it's about letting your hair down, going to parties, birthdays, engagements, um, weddings, having a drink or two. But this person is there. They're in your circle. They're in your inner circle. And look at this. You got the Empress. That's uh, Taurus energy, possibly could be Libra. There might be children involved here for some of you. Um, this could also mean pregnancy in the future as well. If you don't want pregnancy, I always say be careful, right? Um, but the Empress is known as the most abundant, the most fertile and the most creative card. I absolutely love how they're holding you in high regard. Of course, their actions in the past speak very different volumes. More often than not, if I just want to really condense the Empress for you, is that they do wish to give birth to this once more. They see the potential. They see the potential in you. I love that you've got such thick skin here. It doesn't mean that it hurts any less, but I don't know how you do it, Aries. You're putting one foot in front of the other. You're looking to the future. But if I were to say to you that this person wants to come back with good intentions for whatever reason, are you open to it? Yes or no? Let's get to your main reading. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, okay. There's a solid new start coming your way. And like I've been preaching, where there is an ending, there is a brand new beginning. This is about security, stability. It's something tangible this time. It's not like having this relationship. It's all up in the air. And it's like, okay, you know, we'll do this, we'll do that. Nothing happens. Things fall through. No, this is commitment and marriage here. This is something more promising. Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's not deny, let's not lie to ourselves. When we were with this person, things were great. And when they were great, they were excellent and so forth. Your person wants to reclaim this with you. Page of Wands is always the bearer of very good news. In fact, I see that your person is trying on their own to find creative ways to reach out to you. So if they have lost your number, if you block them, if you're no longer talking, it's kind of like their way of thinking, what's the best way to approach Aries? Um, because eventually they know we're gonna have to talk about the pink elephant in the room. We're gonna have to talk about the 10 of swords. Eight of Swords, mm -hmm. Gemini Energy. This is the thing here, and I'm not picking this was you. I think Aries that you were full of passion, you were excited, this was beautiful. There was flirtatious energy, but why was your person to a certain degree holding back? Were they feeling trapped by the current circumstances? Now, sometimes this happens because maybe they think, you know, I really like Aries, but I'm not ready for a relationship. Or uh, I actually, I'm gonna travel, but I really like, in other words, sometimes we can't always have our cake and eat it as well, right? They, they probably were feeling quite trapped and restricted if there was a third party, for example. Because I am seeing here, that's either you or your person. We also have separation and divorce on the table. They're holding back out of fear, but sandwiched in the middle is the communication. More please. We have the tower, Scorpio energy. So this is definitely going to be a shocking return. 
but I understand now why you still feel like you're bleeding out because I'm, I keep hearing that, you know, my heart breaks every time I think about what happened between us. You were blindsided. It's just a very impulsive card. It's known as a major upheaval and it can swing either way. It's very volatile. Like I always say, you know, it's my shocking, shocking surprise card, or it's my breakup or my shake up. Of course, they're coming here to shake things up in a good way though. But I think that how things ended was very unjust here. You did not see it coming, Aries. You may have anticipated that your person was acting different. Maybe you were aware of their circumstances. If they were feeling restricted or trapped or held back by something in their life, you still didn't expect them to do a runner on you. Now, this is the thing. The tower is here because this is their hopes because it's right underneath a solid start. Rebuild the tower again using the same bricks, but this time we're going to have a much more firmer, solid foundation. Let's talk about the beating heart of your reading. This card will affect all the other cards. Two of Swords, Libra Energy. Are you indecisive? I don't blame you, Aries, if you were, because that Ten of Swords, that's pretty tough to go through it. And I feel that whether you are aware of it or not, it's still there in your mind. It's on your shoulders. The Two of Swords says, I, I want to make the right decision. Maybe you want to make a head over heart decision. You're trying to be logical about this over the news that you receive here. And, you know, sometimes it's like, I don't want this tower to ever happen again. So it could be, you know, I, do I want to accept this Ace of Pentacles? Yes or no. For you, it's a big decision. It's a big deal. More, please. Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Yeah, I think you're quite indecisive. Do I want to work on this or give them the tower and say no? You might have met this person somehow connected to your finances, your career, your studies, even if it's hobbies that you realize you can monetize off, something like that. Um, regardless, whether you met this person at work or not, whether you still see them at work or not, uh, and hear me out here because I'm really seeing it that they wanted to work. See the differences of these two eights? Your person really wanted to work on it. Something was preventing them. I'm wondering, do you know what it was? Or who it was because your first thing was your person was feeling quite trapped here thinking that I want to work on this I really want to give Aries what they deserve because I really have strong feelings for Aries there's a reason why they couldn't so I can't wait to clarify these cards but now this falls on you I think that you're a little bit indecisive you're trying to be logical about this do I give them the tower moment by saying no or do I work on this more please the four of swords yeah, you're still recuperating from this, Libra energy. Yeah, take all the time you need, Aries. Your person's going to have to wait for you. And I see that they will. Four is all about planning. This is about gathering your thoughts. It's about rest, recuperation, recovery from this. And sometimes even if this happened one year ago, five, eight, ten years ago, sometimes when we really think about it and we sit with our emotions, it feels like it happened yesterday. Some of you may be recovering like from a cold or maybe you were sick now and you're recovering from that, take your time though. I think you need to rest a bit more. You've gone through a lot, like mentally you've, sorry, that was just my dog there just shaking. <laughs> I don't know how they do that. Um, yeah, you've gone through a lot mentally here. More please. Five of cups, Scorpio energy. You don't want your heart broken again, Aries. I don't blame you. Listen, if I were, and that's the thing, I've got very strong Aries, um, also my um, chart. I know my, I think I know my chart off by heart here. Um, and I know many Aries. And I know that once you make a decision, you're pretty much firm on it. It would take a lot of convincing. So this is, again, the, this all falls on your shoulders here. I think you're just quite indecisive. You may be procrastinating whether to, you know, reply to this. And this is the thing, it still stings. You're disappointed in them. And I think we have to be wary that if we do want this person back in our life, we have to learn to let go. Forgive, never forget though. We, we, we always keep those lessons that we've learned here because um, you're definitely not a doormat, Ho, but I, I'm seeing here that even your person knows how disappointed you are in them. They're feeling quite embarrassed, ashamed, guilty of what they've done to you. What's the outcome? Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Again, we're seeing someone pregnant, though, giving birth to this. Seven of Pentacles is all the wait and see card. So from you, on your side, it's not a yes and it's not a no. Because remember, here they come saying, I want a new beginning. Please give me another chance. And you're like, let me think about it. And again, gathering your thoughts. And this is the wait and see. It's almost like you're... I think you're going to be very deep in your thoughts from now until the end of the year, thinking, do I actually really want to do this? Is it going to pay off, though? If I put in all this work... 
What if they just run away? What if they give me the tower again? You see, this person does want to plant the seed again. They want to redeem themselves. This time through action, though. Mm. So did your person royally screw up? Yes, they did. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Your person royally screwed up. They gave you the Ten of Swords. You didn't deserve that. I want to clarify these cards. I'll be using the Dark Mansion Tarot. Let's see. More, please. I mean, you've got every right here and you're in control. This is your reading. You've got every right to say no to this person. Um, but I'm just seeing here that you're on the fence. That's all. Let's see. I don't know if you even want to hear this person out. Let's see. Aries, please. Everything and everything that everything that Aries should know about for their highest good. And last one. All right, Aries. Here we go. We're going to go a lot more deeper and explore all of these uh, cards. There we go. Don't want to make this too messy. That looks good. Bottom of the deck, look what we have is the Six of Wands. Now I'm going to put these a lot more closer to the camera because there is a lot going on here in all of these cards. This is Leo energy. This is personal success here. We even see a couple getting married here. So they want this reconciliation, reaching out to you. They want this to be successful. This is more personal success though. Um, but this is something they're going to have to work for. And here we got, these are the cards. They're going to have to work for it. If they're going to plant that seed and nourish this connection, they're going to have to work for it. But whatever is holding them back, whether it is fear or if they're trapped by an actual situation like another, you know, um, if it's distance or another relationship, they're going to have to let that go. They're going to have to work their butts off for this. Five of Cups again. Look at that. Your person's crying over you. Are they happy? You know, Scorpio energy there. Are they happy by current circumstances? Absolutely not. In fact, if your person is committed or married to someone else, because we have the Hierophant there, Taurus energy, they're not happy. No. And I think they're regretting here that they didn't commit to you. I feel like they bailed out. That's what happened here. But something was preventing from both of you of coming together. What a complication here, mess of emotions that your person has caused within themselves and also within you. Although Aries, I see that you're doing a lot more better than them, but they do want to commit to you and there's that regret. I'm seeing commitment and marriage here and then your person's here on their own crying. The High Priestess, Pisces energy, too many secrets, mystery, even white lies. They were not honest here. Do not fret though. Because what I love about the High Priestess is that, like I said, you don't have to lift a finger. This is my quiet card. We've got secrets, important conversations here, more information. They're all going to be revealed to you. And it's going to directly impact you because we've got the Fool again. There we go. There you are. Yep. And the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. And the Three of Cups. Again. They want to come back to you, at least just open up lines of communication, at least just to start off as friends. Um, but yeah, this comes with a lot of healing. They're going to work for this. They're not doing so well emotionally. I'll be honest. I'm hearing a lot of crying, a lot of sobbing. Let's talk about the Ace of Pentacles. They want obviously a brand new solid start with you. More please. The Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy, Regret. Guilt seeks punishment, Gemini energy. They know very well, Aries, that this can tip that way, that you can give them the towel and say no to them. And I think some of you are actually tempted to say no to this person. But look at the regret that they have. In fact, Aries, if there are any of you watching this right now and blaming yourself for anything, oh, if only I did this, if only I did that, maybe it wasn't handsome or pretty enough. Mm -mm, I'm going to tell you to stop right there. No, no, no. This was all on them. There's that regret here. I think because they know that, I think already before they even approach you, they already know that you're not going to be all lovey-dovey as you were perhaps in the past. You're being a lot more logical about this and they're afraid. They're afraid that you're going to say no to the Ace of Pentacles. Let's talk about that Page of Wands. Yep, Page of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. There could be an age difference here. Um, that's also my student card as well. This could be you or your person. Someone is studying something quite creative with that wands. Um, it's all about expansion or doing some research here as well. 
That's face-to-face -face communication. Page of Pentacles, just like the Three of Pentacles, which they both happen to be Capricorn energy. Your person literally could be any star sign. Remember that. Um, doesn't matter. They actually want to see you face-to-face, -face, though. And I think they're going to express their remorse. And I'm hearing the words that I took our friendship and I took our love for granted. They're realizing that now. Mm. Wow. Yeah, now they, here they come. They want to see you face to face. Let's talk about that Eight of Swords. I want to talk about that Eight of Swords. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. I'm not surprised I'm seeing it on top of the Eight of Swords. Seven of Cups here is Scorpio energy. So your person here, I think they were dealing with you and someone else. Unfortunately, they did a very good job of making you feel like an option here. And your person was all up in the air. They were not grounded enough. That's what happened. They probably thought you were always going to be around. Things were just going to smooth over. Things were just going to work out. Um, but no, I think your person had opportunities here. They had options and they made you feel like an option, which is why with the Ten of Swords, you feel so cheated and betrayed by them, by the situation, how it ended and how it went south. And they know that now they're living here, you know, thinking, damn, I love Aries. Look what I've done. Mm hmm. I also feel here there's a bit of your energy. You're probably a little bit emotionally confused here, a little bit overwhelmed suddenly by their return. It's like you made your decision in the past and now you're coming back. I don't know if it's genuine. Let's talk about that tower. They're coming back to heal this. You got temperance. Major there for Sagittarius energy. It's a card of taking your time. It's a complete opposite of the devil. Where the devil is the card of extremes. This is saying it, take it one day at a time. I see your person's trying very hard to try to forgive themselves here. Um, also, Aries, forgive yourself as well. If you're blaming yourself for anything, if I wasted time and all this. No, 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 you, you've done nothing wrong here. You went in here with high hopes, with the best intentions. But what I'm seeing here is that um, definitely there is the need for harmony, for peace, for balance is desperately needed to, well, your person knows that, they, it's desperately needed to salvage this, to heal this relationship here. Take all the time you need, Aries, because I see here it's gonna be a sudden return. Be patient, um, and they need to be patient with you as well. It's a beautiful card of healing, equal give and take. Now let's talk about that Two of Swords. I see that you're pretty much indecisive. Uh-huh, not surprised I'm seeing this. Here we go, the world the world you're indecisive whether to close a chapter or start a new cycle with this person we have here Taurus we have Leo Aquarius we also have Scorpio um, what I do like here is that this is the graduation card it's the celebration card it's like pat yourself on the back because this is for me showing the end of the year you've been through hell and back I don't know how you did it Aries but you didn't stop I feel like a lot of you are, are how could I say, it's overdue for a very long break or a vacation here. But I, it's almost like what you're indecisive about is, do I want to permanently end this to the point where I'm not ever going to talk to this person again? Or do I want a brand new cycle with this person? Because I, I think that you're going to see them face to face. You're going to see them suffering. I'm seeing tears already. Not so much from you, but from them. Let's talk about that Eight of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, again, there's your decision, yes or no. Decisions, choices, the ins, the outs, the pros, the cons, the positives, the negatives here. Do I want to absolutely work um, on this relationship with this person? Do I want to do it? Is it worth it? I think you're just, you're still on the fence about this. I think there is perhaps your heart might be saying, yes, what if? I'm curious. The fool is, you know, in the, in the tarot is very curious, but I think your mind is saying, mm -mm, no. No, no, no. I'm tired about this merry-go-round. Finances on the side note for you are going to get excellent, much better. Let's talk about that Four of Swords. Is the Hanged Man. Pisces energy. Hmm? Yep. You're uncertain. You see, the Hanged Man is the only energy in the deck where we have slammed the brakes on this. We're not moving forward. We're not moving back. That's the only person in the entire deck where they are suspended in the air. Things are still kind of up in the air. Can this be healed or are they going to live to regret this for the rest of their life? This card, this card actually comes with an enormous amount of self-sacrifice where your person knows they will perhaps have to leave their old self behind, old ways of doing things. It could be family, friends, relationships to be with you. Yeah, and they're thinking about this. They're in deep thought here. Wow. 
This does, uh, no pressure Aries, of course, but this does fall on you. And what I love about Tarot is that you are always in control of the outcome here. Let's talk about that Five of Cups. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, here they come to tell you the truth. Look how straight that sword is. It's pointing up. We've got open, honest communication. You've got no problem telling this person face to face now how much they hurt you. And whether you are going to have a new, um, well, you could say a new relationship if you're going to give him another chance here, to even to start off as friends. Yep. The Ace of Swords cuts through all the illusions. We've got the 10, we've got the 9. Now we're rolled over to the Ace. This is a brand new beginning. It's starting on a clean slate, but this time it's on your terms. And I like that because it demands respect here, Aries. And I preach that a lot about, you know, on my other videos here as well. You know, someone can love you, but they have to respect you as well. And I'm seeing here that they're going to cut straight to the chase here. Um, both of you are going to have a conversation about what happened in that past. That pain that they caused you was, it wasn't nice. Absolutely not. Let's talk about that Seven of Pentacles. Is the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Aries, Leo, Sag. There we go. Here they come. I think you're going to meet them in the middle. One more, please. Yeah, you're doing good on your own. Nine of Pentacles. You see, that's why you're on the fence. Because, see, the Nine of Pentacles, which is the minor account of the Empress, you're really doing well in other areas of your life. Some of you might be self-employed or perhaps even going back to school, studying, thinking about your finances, your career. Your person really wants you to see them this way as someone accomplished. It's a kind of luxury. But to be honest, I still think here, you, I think you're going to meet this person in the middle because that's my call to action night, even if you, the traveling night. So even if you are at a certain distance or not, I see both of you meeting in the middle and there and there with this conversation, I think you'll decide whether to commit back to them, give them another try in due time, take your time, or actually go off on your own. That's interesting. So this does fall on your shoulders. Your person, yes, I can see that they're remorseful. I mean, look how, look how they're crying. Think, I can't believe this. I can't believe I chose someone else or... You know, I, the way I treated Aries. But it doesn't mean you have to always, you know, take everyone back, right? So this is going to be quite interesting in your um, optional extended reading. Now, this is the excellent time to get a true glimpse, 100% glimpse, peek over the fence of what is really happening with your person. Because I do see them reaching out to you. It's just a matter of time and I'm possibly do not be surprised within the month because we have the Ace of Swords here within four weeks. You might be having a very important conversation with this person. So, wow, I'll see you. Um, so what I'll do, I'm going to pack this up. I'll use four different decks. The link to your optional extended is below. Like I said, it is the first link underneath all the yellow cards. I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to do that reading from your person's perspective about you. It's going to be so interesting. I can't wait to get into it. I thank you for joining me, Aries, and I will see you in the next couple of days. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye.